and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, we're going to be doing quite a short one. It's using free motion embroidery on paper. When cutting out shapes, you can traverse backwards and forwards across the paper and create some really effective results. So I'm going to share those with you today. All right then, let's get into it. Hi, so what we've got here are some of these great paintings that I did the other week and I'm going to use a scalpel and what I want to do is cut out, can you see properly? Yep. I'm going to cut out some of the shapes in here so that I can have a go at, if you can imagine, a little bit like this. So this was where I cut out a circle for another video the other day and then I've been using free motion embroidery. Can you see? Yep across it so I want to put some gaps in in between here and um, let's see how we go. So are you getting the hang of this? I'm literally you can see what I've cut out there. I'm just going to cut a few more out of here, but there's a slight distraction. Where's oh, a little pussy cat? What is she doing? It's raining outside, so she's not really wanting to go out and get wet, but she looks like she's in a bit of a playful mood. On you. What are you looking for? What is it? What is it, Leila? What are you looking for? Hey? Oh, little stroke. We'll just carry on with this. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one and I'll show you the technique that I'm using. Hello. Hi. You can go and have a nosy. Do you want me to move that for you so that you can sit there? There you go. Okay, Leila. What she likes doing is sitting, look at her, what's she doing? Oh, she's in a messing about. She's in a messing about mood, I can tell. Right, let's just move this. That was noisy. Hey, Leila, Leila, do you wanna look out the window? She's looking for anything she can play with. Here you are. Look. Here you go. Let's look out the window. There you go. Happy girl now. Happy girl. On you. Here you are. Don't play with the curtain now. No, no. Okay, so I'm going to begin with red. And I'm on straight stitch. And I'm just going to hook in at the side here and go all the way across. Like that, you can go backwards. So effectively, it's, it's literally just sewing over the gap, which is really quite fun. Uh, there's so much you could do with this, but I'm just showing you as a technique and you can do what you like, but let's prop you up here. That wasn't so great, was it? Sorry. <laughs> I 
And you can sort of mix colours up, obviously. You can do more stitch in there or less. You decide. Okay, I've switched colours and I'm going to use this kind of sage minty green and carry on over here. She's stopped now. She's in a funny mood though. <laughs> right, we're just going to finish off this last bit here. So just to explain, you can see I'm just traversing from side to side and vertically as well. And notice that you don't necessarily even have to go from the paper to the paper. You can just go halfway and it just hooks onto the latest strand of sewing. Just watch this one. Oh, no, that didn't work. Just troubleshooting there. Usually when that happens, thread comes out of the needle. You can just go to your bobbin and there might be a tangle, which is clearly what's happened here. So I'll just detangle it, pop it back in its case and retry. So you see that I didn't go all the way across, so I'll show you again. Then we'll go back to this one. Again, this is a fairly long shape here. I'm just gonna tip it upside down like that and off we go. Why is that matter? Stroke. No. Mm. There we go. Oh. Are you a bit tired? Yeah. It's all that sleep you had last night. <laughs> you love your sleep, don't you? Oh, you're very tired. I knew, you're very tired. You are the best thing in the world, Layla. <laughs> right, where are we up to here? We're very nearly done. Maybe just another color in the middle. So I'm going to pin these on here, show you what they look like. It was just a little bit of a mess around. So there we go. Hopefully you can see with the black background through some of the parts where I've cut through. But yeah, quite a bit going on now with this graffiti project. So thank you so much for watching this video today. And if you enjoyed it, do give me a like. It really does help the channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye. By the way, those were some prints that we did the other day. And then we also poured the varnish and brush out over the top and that's them dried. So nice and glossy. I don't think they dried when I filmed it the other day, so yeah, they come out really nicely.